Hello, everybody. My name is Montrose's Man. I found this message from Scott Cawthon on Steam, and I wanted to read it to you. This was published on July 28th at 8.48 p.m. God, I don't have my glasses, so this may be hard to read for me, so bear with me if I screw up a couple of words, but here we go. It's titled Make a Difference. It says, Hi guys, first of all, I wanted to thank the community in general for the huge outpouring of support through emails and in, this, and in the forums. I know a lot of you are concerned about me and think that I'm stressed out. It, it's true that I'm stressed a little, but it's okay because the results was the result was good. I've worked very hard this year, almost nonstop, to produce good games for this series. Even though there may be some debate as to how good, in quotations, the games are, I did my best to provide some good scares in a good story. That you did, Scott. That you did. All I can do is judge from the Steam reviews that I've been mostly successful, so I'm very happy about that. It's true that there has been a lot of hate towards me lately. On the forums, on YouTube, etc. And I'll be honest, it's difficult. It's difficult when people seem to dislike you only because you found success with something. I think some people have this idea that I spend my days swimming in gold coins like Scrooge McDuck. Cranking out games with no effort, then laughing at all the, the way and then laughing all the way into the bank. The reality is quite different and I think that people who hate on me for being successful are misguided. Did you know that last year I was working at Dollar General? I worked as a cashier. I had three bosses who were still in high school. Before that, I worked at Target in the back room freezer unloading frozen food. I haven't had a successful life, and now that God has blessed me with some success, I do my best to be responsible with that success. I don't party on the weekends, I don't get drunk or sip martinis. I spend my evenings playing Mega Man 3, Buster only, with my kids. And I try to do good with what's been given to me. I guess the reason I'm telling you all of this is to make sure you know that I'm human. I have a lot of flaws. I have, and I've made a lot of mistakes. My games are perfect, and they never will be. But something more important that I want to convey to all of you is that you should is that is that you, I'm sorry is that you should never listen to people who criticize success simply because it's success. Being good at something is something to strive for not something to demise. Critic criticisms of my games are fine, and a lot of times prison the criticism is valid, but there are a lot of people out there who will hate anything that becomes popular just because it's popular, and hate anyone who becomes successful just because they're successful. Haters gonna hate. I want you to know that focusing on someone else's failure or success is the wrong way to live. People who make videos banishing other people are like people who run into a public square and scream into a pillow. They get a, they'll get attention, but they won't change anything. If you strive to be like them, then you'll spend your life screaming into a pillow as well. And your life won't mean anything. The best emails I got from people who have chosen to pursue game development because of the games I've met, I've made, or people who have decided to do computer science or learn programming, who will become the next, who will become the next game designer. 
who will make the next game for Markiplier to play. <laughs> make sure that it's you. People who hate success will never be successful. Focus on your success and your story. People always ask me what college I recommend or what programs I recommend. My answer is to just go forward, practice. I'm sorry, is to just go forward, practice. Just get to college. Study hard, be awesome at what you do. Make sure that you are the next year's biggest, big success story. Don't fall into the pit of people who have given up on making something of themselves. And make sure you make everything out of yourself. I'm getting too old for this. And when I retire someday, I'm going to want to sit down at a computer and play your games, read your stories, and watch your videos. Don't fall in with people who have already given up on themselves. You are tomorrow's next big thing. Last edited by Scott Coffin on July 29th at 3.33 p.m. That's... That is something, you know. Give it that. That is... Pretty... Emo another pretty much emotional thing. I mean... That's emotional. Scott Coth I would have never guessed that Scott Cawthon was working at Dollar General as a cashier last year. And now look at all the success that he has. Look at all the games he's made. It wasn't easy. I can, I, I, I can bet it wasn't easy. He doesn't just sit down at a computer one day and just like, oh, da, 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 type, 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 type. Oh, here's a perfect story. No. He, the amount of thought that he put into his games is going to have us theorizing, especially game theorists and stuff like that, theorizing for years to come, because he left just the right amount of strings untied to keep us wondering and making theories and going on and on and on, and that's what he wanted. That is what makes somebody a true good game maker. And Scott Cawthon, you probably won't watch my video and listen to me, but if you are, by some freak chance, you decided to watch one of my videos, I am a huge fan, and I think that you are a very bold and noble person. I really do. And to leave this little message here takes courage takes guts you have my full respect Scott Cawthon and you have I'm, I'm amazed of how you made those games so quickly I mean the game players may be saying that your last game wasn't very good because of the Possible for a front of the world person. But I don't care what he said. It's an amazing game. All of your Five Nights at Freddy's games are amazing games. And whoever says that they aren't shouldn't be playing your games in the first place. I just thought you shouldn't hear my thoughts, Scott. And if you do ever listen to this, thank you for making these wonderful games. You've actually, you have brought success, not mm, financially, but, what's the word? You brought success to me. You've made my YouTube channel grow. I don't, you made my YouTube channel become popular, and I thank you. 